Hi, I'm Helen from Time2 Resources. This video is an introduction to understanding interest rates. We will look at what are interest rates and how they impact on individuals and firms. A note taker is available in the description box below. There are two sides to interest rates. They are the cost of borrowing. So if an individual or firm borrows, for example, taking out a loan, they will be charged interest. This is a cost. The second side is they are a reward for saving. So if, for example, an individual has a positive balance in a savings account, they will receive interest payments. This is therefore a reward. Banks make a profit by charging a higher rate of interest to borrowers than they pay to savers. Interest rates impact on consumers in a number of ways. If we have bought on credit or have debt, which may be a car loan or mortgage, for example, we pay interest on this finance. If interest rates go up, we pay more. This therefore reduces the amount of discretionary income available to us and therefore reduces our spending power. We may have to cut back on luxuries such as restaurant meals or new clothes. Secondly, interest rates affect decisions to save or spend. If interest rates are high, so is the reward for saving. This makes saving more attractive and spending less attractive. Consumers may cut expenditure. In economics, we refer to this as the marginal propensity to spend, i.e. for each extra one pound we receive, how likely we are to spend it rather than save it. Interest rates will also impact on our spending habits, e.g. what we buy and how we buy it. If interest rates are high, the cost of spending on credit cards or on credit will be high, making it less attractive. This will affect our attitudes to spending on credit. This is particularly important if we look at demand for goods where credit is often used, e.g. a new car or kitchen appliances. Why not pause the video now and see if you can explain how consumers are impacted by low interest rates. Interest rates affect businesses or firms as well. One impact links directly to the impact on consumers. If consumers prefer to save rather than spend, have less discretionary income or shy away from buying on credit, this in turn will reduce demand for many businesses. Businesses will therefore see a fall in demand leading to a fall in revenue. Consumers may switch to lower cost businesses. Remember, it's always important when writing about the impact of macroeconomic factors such as interest rates to consider the nature of the business. In this context, what does it sell and how does it compete? Interest rates are a cost to a business. If a business has used debt as a source of finance, e.g. loans or overdrafts, it will be charged interest. If interest rates rise, this will increase the business's costs, impacting on its ability to achieve its financial objectives, such as break even or profit margins. This could also impact negatively on cash flow. A business will factor in interest rates when considering sources of finance and investment decisions. If interest rates are high or it is thought they are likely to rise in the future, this may make businesses less willing to invest, for example, in growth. Businesses may use what-if analysis to see how outcomes change based on different rates of interest. Interest rates can impact on a business's ability to achieve its objectives, such as growth or shareholder returns. Why not pause the video now and consider how businesses will be impacted by low interest rates? Thank you for watching this video on understanding interest rates. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now?